This is RadioOnFire.com. I go by the name of Don McKay, and I'm joined by the lovely Mrs. Sweet T. How you doing? <laughs> awesome. All right. So, um, uh, first of all, how, how was your week? My week was great. All right. So, anything interesting happened to you on your way here? Maybe <laughs> I got pulled over. All right. So, so by the Baltimore City Police. Baltimore City's finest. Yes. Pulled you over for what? I think that they thought I was a white woman driving in the car, and I think that him and his homeboy that he was posted up with was like, "Did you see that babe just drive past? Let me pull her over." Oh, look, her brake lights is out. When she stopped, her, oh, let me just pull it over, pull her over. And when he pulled me over, far and behold, it was a light-skinned blonde woman. <laughs> No, you will not be getting a number today. So you, you think that um, that he pulled you over because he was attracted to you? Yes, because I have tinted windows, and all he saw was white blonde hair, light skin. I can pass for a, a white woman with a with a tan. <laughs> okay. He didn't see my son in the back seat. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. He pulled me over like after I passed him like five minutes ago. So he like chased me down. Where, like what, what area did you get pulled over? On Charles Street. But oh. I passed him like by the Burger King. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, <laughs> right. hang, they hang right around there. Right. They, they hang right around there. Exactly. All right. So, so, but everything was okay. You, 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 you were able to make it here. So every, everything was okay. Yeah. Um, so a lot of things going on in the news mm -hmm. um, that that I want to talk about. Um, but be, before we before we go into you know like news news, um, local news, but, Baltimore community news. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, we have talked about Pastor Jamal Bryant uh, <laughs> quite a bit, and and his antics. Uh huh. Um, so, so there was a video that surfaced where PFK Boom, uh, in my opinion, disrespected Jamal Bryant. Right. A.K.A. DMX. As a man. <laughs> he disrespected him. Yeah. Uh, because he felt disrespected. So I don't want to say that he just disrespected him without any... Uh, I don't know why he felt disrespected, but yeah. No, there was a reason. There was, there was, there was a reason. Jamal did not like come out and just disrespect him personally. No, no, he did not. But um, he act like he did. Boy, he treated him like, <laughs> like he, he treated he, he treated him. his mother. <laughs> <laughs> he treated him like that, yeah. Yes. Um, and so the video got got some some spins, got some play. A lot of play. A lot of play, and um, the two have since reconciled. Of course. And and and, and they have made up. <laughs> Who said that? Black men can't squash beef. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, a lot of the things they may have addressed it behind the scenes, you know, uh, but I, the energy level, do you remember the energy level? The anger. That the, the anger yes. that PFK Boom had? It was so much. I couldn't watch it. I only watched 30 seconds of it. That's how much energy and anger he had in this video. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and so, um, so they had some conflict resolution mm -hmm. that was set up by Minister Carlos Muhammad of the Nation of Islam. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Bean pie, my sister. Okay. That's wrong. I, I love bean pies, though. Bean pies are amazing. What do they taste like? Uh, Beans. It's like sweet potatoes, but 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 kinda. Yeah, it's it's like sweet potatoes. Yeah. Like bush beans. No, like sweet potato pie. Then why they call it bean pie? Because they use beans instead of sweet potatoes. Bush beans or Campbell beans. Neither. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So um, but like I said, so they they had some some conflict resolution uh, hosted by the Nation of Islam. Um, so Jamal Bryant was there. Uh, PFK Boom was there. Uh, Minister Carlos Muhammad was there. Mm -hmm. 
Shy Lady Heron was there, and we just call it Shy. And uh, uh, Big Wolf of the 300 Gangsters. Not men, but gangsters. Yes, those yeah. are different, different yeah. people. That's, those um, are different people. You got to let the public know. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, so I, I definitely think that there is uh, a need to um, uh, commend what they did. And uh, coming together after something of that magnitude, I think that was good. I think it was good for them to come together in that way. Um, do, do you? Yay, nay? I think it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Good, good for the city. Um, now, during the altercation, Jamal Bryant did not have a lot to say. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty chill. A lot of people said he was punked down, right? Uh, he walked away. Like he should have. I mean, how could he have handled that situation? He was outnumbered. Right. He was, you know, he caught him slipping, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, and he walked away. Right. So, um, did you expect Jamal Bryant to leave Baltimore? No. Did you expect Jamal Bryant not to come around his way anymore? I don't think he wants to come around that way, but... Okay, okay. Uh, and, and so... I don't think he was like, oh, man, I can't go down there. You know, I really wanted to, <laughs> I really wanted to be in the hood. Right. Um, so less than a week later. You're right. Or, or, or maybe maybe about a week later. Um, they, they get together and, and have a meeting of the minds. Meeting of the minds. Meeting of the minds. And during this meeting, the tables turn. No longer was... PFK Boom DMX. Mm. No, he was no longer DMX. Do you have another another example of who PFK Boom was? Tevin Campbell. Tevin Campbell. Damn. All right, I, I don't know if I would go that far as to say Tevin Campbell. Uh, but I, I do want to say that uh, cooler heads prevail. And it wasn't the, the barking and all that wasn't there. But this was a little bit different. And if you if you have not had a chance to uh, hear the difference, let's get into the clip first and let's uh, let's listen to uh, the good pastor, Passa, Passa, good Passa, uh, talk. Who about do not it. know. Uh, this is uh, PFK Boom, uh, and I am Jamal Bryant. Uh, one week ago, uh, we were just three miles away from here, uh, right outside of Gilmore Homes, uh, and uh, uh, Brother P.F.K. Boom and I had an altercation, uh, and uh, we came together today uh, as men, uh, saying that we had a responsibility for a whole nother generation that's coming behind us on how do you resolve uh, your differences. Let me say uh, before we go forward uh, that we do not agree on everything. Uh, we do not share the same belief on everything. What we do know is that we are stronger together uh, than we are uh, separated. Uh, I want to pause uh, and allow uh, my brother uh, to speak. Uh, and uh, after he would have spoken, uh, then I'll introduce uh, our minister uh, who was really the bridge builder uh, and then uh, you gonna talk or you not gonna talk today? He gonna talk something. Uh, let me hear, hear from my dear brother. Um, first of all, thank all that's watching. I'm um, at the responsibility that one needs to take as leaders. That's what Mr. Brown and myself are. When you, Mr. Brown, when you make a decision, good or bad, and you see that it does affect a lot of people. And as of last Wednesday, of course, PFK Nation and many other nations, 300 gangsters, and us seeing the negative uh, effect of last Wednesday that was not only um, affecting us personally, but it was affecting our community of Baltimore City as a whole. Affecting us Disenfranchised when the people feel in a certain way to the left and people feel in a certain way to the right. Again, we as both men have a responsibility that once something come out of the conflict of us, we got to take a uh, take a take initiative for that. This is for the city right here. This right here, this is this is this is a hill that one can see. Same way we did it on a big scale of two million, that maybe we could use this, and we hope that it is used that 
the same indifference that it's on these communities and in some of these homes. And as we see it right now, we got to sit down so we could actually use this. I mean, Mr. Jamal to be, of course, the sacrifices or whatever may come from it. But as the whole and beginning and result is, uh, is the un unity of understanding and roads can be different, but we can go down the same lane and get things done. This month for you, Baltimore, I take a hit if it calls for my city to get healed from whatever side, mine or his. Call it down, cool it down. Boom for Baltimore. I love y'all. This show. Is okay, so uh, uh, so we heard that. So we heard a different, a different uh, PFK boom. <laughs> they, there. Di they diluted the boom. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was like before it was PFK boom. <laughs> right. Now it's like PFK. <laughs> um, no, I mean, we're making fun, but my thing is, is that I, I am glad that they were able to come together. Now, mm -hmm. I've read a lot into that. I read a lot into that. His voice, his inflections was totally, totally, totally different. Right. Let's be honest, Boom. Like, who put you in the room and sat you down and told you, like, that was not a good look, brother? Someone sat you down. You probably still have all those feelings still built up, but someone sat you down and said that we can't do it this way. Yeah. It's not a good look. Yeah, it wasn't a good look. Um, and uh, he, he's definitely, you know, looking at it different. Somebody um, hit that hand and was like, that was naughty. Mm-mm, no. <laughs> he was a bad boy. <laughs> now, uh, Jamal Bryant set the tone in the conversation. Jamal Bryant took control of the conversation. And it was framed differently. Yes. Uh, and as we're going to hear in, a, in another clip, um, I say that Jamal Bryant uh, flexed the muscle. Right? <laughs> I'm going to say that Jamal Bryant. Um, Don't you come for the anointing. I'm going to say that Jamal Bryant <laughs> had a goon squad. The sheep came out. The sheep. The sheep said, "You ain't talking to our pastor like that." They probably went down. They probably they rolled up on him. They say the pastor can't come down here. <laughs> but, but we, we can. can. Okay. We coming down they there to see you. They drove by the Bible. Say they drove by the Bible. Right. They, 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 right. they drove by in a church van. The sister was like, roll that window down. <laughs> Where the boom at? <laughs> Be like, you big AFK boom. <laughs> we come to shake like, you down. He was like, who asked a nigga? The sheep. <laughs> The sheep coming through, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm part of the sheep. <laughs> they gangsters. The sheep. The sheep shook up the world. The sheep shook up the world. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. All right. I needed that. Okay. No, but seriously, uh, in the video, the original video, uh, PFK Boom questioned Pastor Jamal Bryant's credentials, asking why he hadn't gotten involved in the, um, you know, the protesting of the death of Tyrone West. Uh, and his death happened in police custody. Um, now, everyone allegedly <laughs> saw the negative effect of it. I don't think it was that negative, and let me tell you why. Because you were able to bring people together that would not normally have come together. And, of course, we're poking fun because that's what we do. But um, in all seriousness, I don't think it was negative. I think it was good. It was, it was good to raise awareness. I think it brought more awareness to Tyrone West. I think it brought more awareness to uh, PFK Boone's cause. Uh, the 300 Gangsters, which you weren't aware of before now. Right. Um, and Shaw Lady Heron, I've had a chance to sit down with her before. Uh, with um, Mainism, and yes, so I met her with him before, and so you know I, I'd already been familiar with her. But I think this was a good, good, uh, a good promotional vehicle, maybe for them. <laughs> uh, people know Jamal Bryan already. You're right um, now, the community will know all these people. Now, I, I'm going to say that Jamal Bryant, behind the scenes, he did something. <laughs> because behind the scenes, something happened. There was a lot of little innuendos in there. Right. And when you hear, when we go into this next clip, when they talk about how they're going to work together, he does more. And, and I, I, I and I see what happened, and I'm going to tell you what happened uh, and how it it negatively affected PFK Boom. 
Now, I, he's still an activist. He's still doing his thing. He said, PF, uh, Boom Nation. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that is alive. And I'm sure he's able to get more people on board. Mm -hmm. He cares about Baltimore, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, but something, something happened. Something happened there. And um, I want to talk about it. So they have announced that they're working together. But I'm not, you know, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let... Jamal Bryant, tell you. So here, let's go into this Speak next Speak on clip. it, Pastor. Let's, let's, let's go into this uh, next clip here, Jamal Bryant. Uh, he represent one, I'm representing another. We were important. It was important for us that this was not just talk. Uh, we didn't want a dog and pony show, but we wanted to show a real solidarity and strength. We are all committed to bringing the murder rate down in the city of Baltimore, keeping our community safe. And the first thing that we're going to do uh, together, somebody keeps asking if P -A PFK Boom is a gang. It's one person. He's an <laughs> army of one. Just one Negro that we had to reel in. <laughs> he thinks he's a gang in his head. Uh, but we've come together, PFK Boom, the Nation of Islam, uh, the 300, uh, 300 Gangsters. Sister, what's the name of the organization? Sword Nation. Sword, Sword Nation, you're going to hear from our sister. She's the best looking person in the room and the smartest one in the room. Well, She's going to talk last. Uh, but we're coming together as looks. one group uh, yeah. on July yes. the 4th. Yeah. Uh, July the 4th, <laughs> Frederick Douglass raised the question, what is the 4th of July? How are we independent when we're still bound? Uh, and so the streets and the sanctuary are meeting under the bridge, 83, uh, to feed the homeless on that day. Uh, so all of those who are disadvantaged uh, and find themselves, it doesn't matter whether you're Islam, whether you're Christian, whether you're a gangster, or whether you're independent, if you're in need of food, we're going to feed you all day long. We need volunteers to come meet us there. Those of you that want to, thank you. We need volunteers volunteers to bring us there, even those of you who want to bring food, uh, but the community has come together. We will never be successful divided. We will only find Baltimore healed when we come together. And so that's All right, so um, that was uh, the very good pastor, Joel Bryant. Yeah. All right, so I took a lot from that. Uh, here's the thing. He said we had to reel him in. Mm -hmm. He threw that little thing. He thinks he's a gangster, but he's just a nation of one. Mm -hmm. That was a little some slick talk right there. <laughs> that was a way of politely saying we rolled up on him. <laughs> and he's not as deep as he thought he was. I mean, come on, everybody. You can't see that? You see that? Did you, did you see him try to be slick there? And all those people that he think he has right. on his head. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and um, you know, so that was uh, that was interesting. There, he also took the moment to say, uh, "Yo, this Negro." <laughs> he, called him a, he called him a Negro. Hey. Bar, Jamal Bryant. That was shade. That was shade. Yes. <laughs> that was he was on some slick stuff, but um, open the blinds up. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was uh, that was that was a little extra, but um. One thing, one thing that I also noticed is that they didn't really address why this situation happened. They just said, we got to come together. We're coming together. Yeah, and maybe they had some of these discussions privately and they didn't put all that stuff out there. Um, but also in the room, um, Shy Lady Heron uh, in the room. Uh, does it sound crazy calling her Shy Lady Heron? Uh, but uh, Shy, Shy Lady Heron... <laughs> Uh, in the room, and um, I, I, the exchange, just his exchange with women is always awkward to me. That was just awkward, you know what I mean? Why? Just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, whatever. But um, uh, also in the room, uh, Wolf, Big Wolf of uh, 300 Gangsters, they have a clothing line, and uh, they also talked about Jamal Bryant and him had some issue. Jamal Bryant said that at one time Big Wolf was trying to kill him. He's being honest. And, and he's not being honest. <laughs> yeah, I think he's right. <laughs> being very honest. But he's like, be cool now. You yeah, know, we'll be cool, be cool now. now. Um, he had to throw some holy water on that brother. And, and Carlos Muhammad of the Nation of Islam, follower of uh, Minister Farrakhan. Uh, so, you know, it, it was nice that they, that they did this. And um, I don't think that the actual issues have been addressed. Does this mean that Pastor Jamal Bryant is going to help in the protest of Tyrone West's death? I don't think so. 
Uh, maybe they will. I don't, I don't know. He's just saying, if I don't, don't you open your mouth and say nothing about me. <laughs> That's what he said. The pastor said. <laughs> yeah, and so, um, so with that being said, the good part that came out of this meeting, this part that I really, really like, is that they, on July 4th, they're gonna 2016. They're gonna all join forces and feed the homeless. Now they chose this date as homage. They say to a Frederick Douglass speech, the meaning of the July Fourth for the Negro. Feed the homeless under the bridge. Of course, that that's what the meaning is. It gotta be. And so he's saying basically, uh, Frederick Douglass was saying. It, how can this be an Independence Day if we're still enslaved? Which, we, you know, at that time, makes sense. Kind of hypocritical, right? How many times are everybody going to feed the homeless, though? What do you mean? What do you mean? How many times people think that doing great things is feeding the homeless? They is not. They not hungry. Who's not hungry? The homeless people. They're not hungry. What do you mean the homeless people are now? I, I, they eat. They eat every day. And if they don't eat every day, they eat the next day. The homeless people are not hungry. When's the last time you heard on the news a homeless person died of starvation? Exactly. Never. They eat. So okay. y'all going down there to feed the homeless? Okay. Yay, Whoopi. Like, I'm not impressed. Like, do something else. Like... You think the coming together and feeding the homeless that's not really hungry is going to justify what's all that's going on? Like, no. I, I, I homeless die being cold. Homeless die being too hot, but they never die of starvation. Um. While I don't know the, the stats <laughs> on that, uh, I will say that that if they don't die of starvation, they can die of malnutrition. They don't. They're not eating the they right don't. foods. They don't. I've never seen on the news that, oh, we found a dead homeless person who died of starvation. I don't know about that. Uh, so you don't think that feeding the homeless is a good idea? <laughs> no, they've done something else. I think it's a wonderful idea. I always <laughs> think, I always think that feeding, feeding the homeless is a good idea. Now, I don't think that that's the only solution. I think that we should. They could have came up with a bad, better idea, a bolder, just. I, great uh, like something that's not done before like something great why does it have to be something that's never been done before? because i'm tired of people thinking like yay we fed the homeless and the homeless people don't hardly even show up like what y'all coming down here to feed me for like we little animals little sheep or little dog you just come down here you just decided that you can come down to 83 and feed us so you're you're you think that it's like a um a pride thing it's not even a pride thing. It's just like, do something else. It's like... The homeless people need our I, support. I can't, I can't believe you. <laughs> the homeless people need our support? Yes, absolutely. How do, you, how do you think they live day by day without us going down there and feeding them? They survive. Barely. How are they barely surviving? T, you can't be serious. What do you mean I can't? Serious. Have you have you driven past uh, uh, Martin Luther King and they they doing good? They got tents. They make fires. They're doing great down there. All right. They. I will say this: people <laughs> are going to be mad at you <laughs> in the comment section. Why? Because you're talking crazy. Why? People choose to be homeless. If you don't want to be homeless, then you don't have to be homeless. Point blank. Okay. So we totally disagree on that. <laughs> Uh, we we totally I disagree with that. They should have done something like stop the violence concert, just something different. Like and that stuff can new. still and that stuff can still be done. It's just that that's what they chose to do. July Fourth was a good cookout day. Get the bloods together. Out. Get the Crips together. That's get happened. The, get the um, guerrilla warfare. All them. Get them together. Sit down. And Black guerrilla family. Black guerrilla family. Whatever they are. I'm sorry. Sorry, but get them all together and sit them down and tell them stop killing each other. Like, what does the homeless got to do with what's going on today? It's it's 
you know, the, we have community Since activists. Go to a police officers down and tell them stop pulling people over and worry about um, doing real crime stuff. Shoot. You Sit down are down. This is why rare, they beefing. You are in They beefing form. because they keep killing people in custody, correct? You are, I mean, that. that's that's definitely. Okay, um, so now they trying to shy away from the fact, let's go feed the homeless. All right, so I, I, I want to say I have been very critical of Jamal Bryant. <laughs> Um, and this is not addressing his personal life. Are you impressed? I am actually impressed with the way that he um, handled the situation. It was very, very gangster. It was gangster. I, 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 he came through like Scarface. He came. He came through like no. He didn't come through like Scarface. He came through like uh, uh, Don Corleone, because you know Scarface did his own dirt. Right. Corleone sent somebody else. Right. Uh, so, I, so I respect that. Uh, but more importantly, uh, Jamal Bryant concluded with this part. He said that one Baltimore, we're going to live together. We're going to serve together. We're going to love one another. Uh, please, Baltimore, we all we got. Let's stay together. This summer, no killings, no death. Mm. Let's look out for one another. Nobody can, you know, divide us, that type of thing. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that feeding the homeless and doing that is a good, good thing. I think it's a good thing. And I think that we need to have more events like that. So, you know, I'll give you the final word on, on this part. Whatever. Okay, there you, there you have us. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, your thoughts on the squashing of the beef, if if it was beef, uh, between Jamal Bryant and the activist PFK Boom. Uh, also, the July 4th feeding of the homeless. They're looking for volunteers. They are looking for volunteers, so you can reach out to them. Um, or you can bring them food. Yeah, all of that. All of that. Um, Hot dogs, hamburgers, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a cookout. Yeah, so that's that's good. Do you want? Are you are you busy? You want to go down there? You want to pull up? <laughs> yeah, we can pull up. All right, we pull up. Hey, we pull up, and uh, we will be um, speaking with all uh, sheep <laughs> that would like to talk with us. <laughs> July fourth, uh, we we will be there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>